Hello and welcome back to Scale Me Down and to another Arrows Hobby model review. Please like and subscribe to support the channel. And this T33 was supplied by my local model shop, Steve Webb Models. And let's start by showing you how it went together. Let's get the kettle on and put it together. Assembly is dead quick and easy as there's only five bits. As recommended, we'll use this foam safe CA to glue the tailplane and wingtip pods into place. We'll screw on the wing and the alignment here was not quite as accurate as the Hawk was, but they do give you a spare screw. I changed the connector from the supplied XT60 to a Dean's to match my batteries. This wire is for reprogramming the speed control, so don't plug it in. Fitting the receiver is made easy, as the wires are all labelled. There's a misprint on the box. The UK models do not come with a gyro, but I don't think it's required. We'll connect up the elevators and fit these little keepers. We'll check and set the control throws. We'll mark and set the centre of gravity and we're done. It really was that quick and simple. And now I've conducted a range check, I've charged the battery, checked the centre of gravity, let's see how she flies. Solo hand launching is stress free using the moulded in finger grips. However, I found it more comfortable and even easier to grip the fuselage behind the wings to launch the model. The Lockheed T-33 Shooting Star or T-Bird was an American 1950s jet trainer and the benign handling translates into the model. It was designed by none other than Kelly Johnson, who went on to develop the SR-71 Blackbird. Yes. The stall is benign. For good measure, I tested from inverted, which was a bit more exciting. However, these models fly and look at their best when flown fast. Open that throttle. After 3 minutes and 40 seconds, the fun must stop, and I landed with 23% remaining in the battery pack. Now, these models are also supposed to run on four cells, so, in the interest of science, let's see what happens. Wow, that fourth cell really sets its pants on fire. So, what's the verdict then? Great fun. These little models are super simple, easy to build, they're easy to fly, and for little cost, they'll put a big grin on your face. I did reduce the control throws from those suggested in the manual a bit, and I also added 20% exponential. I prefer how the model flies on three cells, however, as you saw, it is ballistic on four cells. Of the two, just personal preference, but I prefer how the Hawk flies. And I was concerned that this silver paint scheme wouldn't show up against a grey sky, but it's absolutely fine, mainly as you tend to fly it quite close in as it's a small model. There are also some other great schemes that would suit this really well. 
I suspect that these little models will sell out really quick. And special thanks to Steve Webb Models for supplying this one for review. We've had a blast. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.